Hello, this is Renee, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of your support. Please continue to like and subscribe. Um, it does a wonderful job of increasing my channel and increasing the people who can view my content. So I appreciate you so very much. This reading is going to be a collective reading. It's also going to be a timeless reading. So when you see this reading, it's when it was meant for you. Now, this is a reading for the collective. Um, this person is waiting for a sign from you if it's okay to continue forward with with this connection. So if there's someone on your mind, take a moment and envision them. We're gonna go through some thoughts about them um, we're also going to go through their true intentions on the situation and also a, a possible outcome. Okay, so I've already shuffled and drew some cards to save some time. Okay, so we have romance and connection. So yeah, this person is hoping for some kind of romantic connection with you. They're hoping for some kind of sign for you to show them um, that it's okay, that it's possible for this connection to flourish, for it, it's possible for this connection that you may feel the same way. Okay, we have expect miracles. Okay, yeah, so I feel like this person This person who's waiting on signs for this connection, they're, they're thinking of this connection as healing for them, as healing and nourishment for their soul because they feel like you are a person who they've possibly been waiting for. Okay, we have Hilaron, Divine Healing. Honor your sensitivity. Okay, just one moment. I needed to get my glasses. Them words are so small. Okay, Hillary on. Uh, divine healing honor your sensitivity retreat to recharge and heal your light can support others so yeah I'm feeling like this person is seeing you as a light they're seeing as someone who can recharge their emotions recharge their heart I feel like this person is going through healing. You may be going through healing as well, but I feel like this person has been hurt in the past and they're thinking about you as someone who can really heal their heart, but they want to progress forward, but they're not quite sure. So they're waiting for a sign from you and you have the Holy Spirit expect miracles. Now look, we have expect miracles here as well. So I feel like this is really, this may be a divine connection. This may be a divine connection. Wow, okay. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. So yeah, I feel like this person They definitely feel like you could be their divine connection. 
they definitely feel like you are someone truly special that they can build something with. What else do we have? Show off your sparkle and shine from the inside. Yeah, this, see, this person sees you as very happy, very outgoing. Um, they see you as a beautiful soul. Someone who sparkles from the inside out. I feel like you, you are a spotlight to this person. You shine your light on this person. And this person is like standing in the shadow of your light just feeling overwhelmed, enlightened, kind of nourished by your spirit, by your aura. I feel like this person really views you as a spiritual awakening to them. It's very interesting. Let's see. Okay, we have love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So yeah, this person is definitely attracted to you. They're definitely wanting to give you that passionate, unconditional love that maybe you're looking for. Maybe you are yearning for. And we have healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships and addictions. Okay, yeah, and, and that's exactly what I was feeling. I was feeling like this person may have been heartbroken in the past. And this may be your energy as well. You may have been heartbroken. But I feel like this person has been through a lot. This person is looking for something special. They see that something special in you. And you have sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, get gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. So I definitely feel like this person is watching you. This person is looking at everything that you do. And they're kind of... So attracted by your sense of style. The way you wear your hair. Your beautiful eyes. When I'm seeing this, I'm hearing the song, You Are. You are the reason that I love. Wow. Okay. And we have passion. A magnetic or seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Yeah, so this person is very passionate about you. This person really feels great things about you. They have a fire. When they say your name, they shine, they sparkle. You can see the excitement in their face when they talk about you. And just the idea of you excites them. You have manifesting miracles. Now this is the third time miracles has come out. So this may be a destined relationship. This may be your miracle that's unfolding. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Beautiful energy. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is something that is in divine order. But like I said, this person is waiting for you to give them a sign that it's okay to continue with this connection. They're waiting for some kind of indication from you that you have the same attraction that they do. You have the same uh, fire, the same passion, the same um, intentions that they do about the situation. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. So definitely, this person wants to take an inspired action towards you. Um, yes, 
Now, initially, the Eight of Wands were was looked at as the arrows of love. So this was actually passion coming through um, when the cards first came out. But I feel like this person wants to give you some kind of communication, some kind of text, some kind of phone call. They want to talk to you. They want to express how they feel towards you. They're really looking forward to communicating with you to know more about you okay you have the two of swords so i definitely feel like this person wants you to make a choice they want you to make a choice if it's okay to continue with this connection or if they're just wasting their time they they're ready to fight for you they're ready to do whatever it takes to get your attention, to um, win your heart. They're ready to go through fire for you, but they want you to make the choice that it's okay to continue with this connection. Beautiful energy. Okay, we have the seven of pentacles no it's the six of pentacles we have the six of pentacles i don't know why i said seven um but yeah with the six of pentacles i feel like this person this person wants to gift you with something they they want to gift you with their time and attention they want to give you whatever it is that you need in order to make you see that they have good intentions towards you. Very interesting. Okay. We also have, okay, the King of Wands. Okay, so this person can be very attractive. This person can be very charming. very passionate this person is a leader they're very strong and courageous they're also very playful and humorous I feel like this person has a great personality I feel like they really like to make you smile Wow, okay, we have the Queen of Wands as well. Okay, so this person sees you as very attractive. They see you as someone who can really build them up and really, they see you as very confident, very self-assured, very, I wanna say stately because she looks so stately sitting there in that chair. She looks very proper, very put together. And her cat is sitting there very intuitively watching her every move. And I feel like that's what this person is doing. He's sitting there or she's sitting there very intuitively watching your every move, just taking it all in very passionately kind of letting their mind wander on what the possibilities would be if they had a chance to be with you what their life would be like what kind of passions what kind of fires would come out with this kind of this kind of companionship the queen of wands and the king of wands these are counterparts these two belong together they're both very attractive they're both very fiery very passionate very creative they're both very playful Okay, but 
this person sees you as their queen of wands. What else do we have? The page of pentacles. Okay, this person definitely sees you as a new beginning. They see you as... Someone who will really bring a light to their life. Someone who has a lot of good news. A lot of good intentions. They see you as a gem. As a valuable abundant asset like you're a, a prize but in a good way they see you as a prize but i mean it i mean that in a good way in the best way possible okay and we have the star so yeah i definitely you feel like you and this person are going through healing you're going through some kind of renewed situation. Um, and I feel like this person sees you as a brand new beginning. Some kind of... Some kind of miracle. They feel like you'll be very faithful. Very... Giving. They feel like as you give to yourself, you will also give to them the same respect, the same love, the same attention. This person sees you as very, very healing to their soul. You also have the justice card. So yeah, I feel like their intentions are good. I feel like their intentions are very balanced. They feel like you would really balance the situation with them. I feel like they're they're really truthful, really honest. Um, they feel like you're this karmic event that they're just happy to be a part of. And we also have the Eight of Swords. So yeah, I feel like this person is holding themselves back. They're holding themselves back in the situation because they're not quite sure what your feelings are about this situation. Um, let's see. Let's get one more card. Let's get one more card. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, they feel blocked. They feel blocked in this situation. They're not quite sure if you have the same feelings that they do. They feel very tempted to come to you in the situation and just pour their heart out. But they're holding themselves back for some reason. This could be a Capricorn that's coming in to you. Or it could be a Pisces or a Libra. But definitely the, in, the intention is very strong. What does this person want out of this situation? What does this person want out of this situation? What are their true intentions? The Ten of Pentacles. They want to build something lasting with you. They want to build something that's life-changing, that's life-altering, that will last a lifetime. They want to grow abundant with you. They want to have a family. If you already have children, they want to blend that family. But yeah, they want to build something very strong with you, something very lasting. They want to 
they see themselves in a lifelong journey with you. Hmm. Okay, let's see what the possible outcome for this situation is. What is the possible outcome for this situation? Okay, Seven of Cups. So, collective, I feel like if this person were to approach you, I feel like you would be thinking about your option. You'd be weighing your options with this person. I feel like maybe, maybe you have too many options. Or maybe you're looking at the good and the bad because of the heartbreak that you've been through. But I feel like you're kind of going through the motions with this situation. But with the Magician card, I feel like you'd be willing to give them a chance. I do feel like you'd be willing to give them a chance to create something special with this person. To bring this person's vision into reality. Yeah, you have the Six of Swords. So, I feel like, you know, if you were to give this person a chance, if you were to give this person a sign that it's okay to move on with this connection, I feel like you'd be moving into a new into new possibilities you definitely be moving into a calmer situation into a more fulfilling situation this may be you making your mind up to literally move with this person but you have the nine of wands the Knight of Wands as well. So I feel like <laughs> if this situation were to move forward, I feel like it would move forward very quickly. I definitely feel like it would move quickly because I feel like this person is very set on what they want. And they want you. They're ready to move on the situation. They're just waiting for a sign from you. Whether it's okay for them to continue with this connection or not. Are you ready to continue with the possibilities? And we have the Ten of Pentacles again. So not only do you have the Ten of Pentacles up here, you also have the Ten of Pentacles in the outcome as well. So I feel like this connection can be a very prosperous connection. It could be a very loving connection. Um, it could be a very lifelong connection. Something that's really going to endure and grow, prosper. Beautiful energy. Let's see. Okay. So what other advice do we have for this connection? What other advice do we have for this connection? Love. Okay. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So yeah, this could definitely be some love connection that could flourish and really take off. All you need to do is make a choice. Make a choice. Will you continue with this connection? Is this a connection that is right for you? Is this the right connection for you? Is this person's intentions pure? Mm. 
we have one call dharma unfolding remember that you are on a path take one step at a time to happiness definitely okay so i feel like this this person definitely could be the right connection this person um definitely can be your path to happiness take one step at a time to happiness Wow, okay. And we have Bridget, inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have power. Definitely. They're, this person is giving you all the power in this situation. They want you to give them a sign that it's okay to move forward with this intention to see if it's okay to move forward with this connection, this love that they feel, this passion. Um, so yeah, I feel like the decision is all yours to make, whether you move on this connection or you don't. I feel like this person is putting all the power in your hands. Okay, this is your reading. Collective. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And uh, for more clarity on your situation, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. For more messages. And many blessings to you. I'm very anxious to hear what your comments will be for this connection, for this situation that's unfolding. So make sure to comment below. Um, many blessings, love and light.